Dude, I can't, that ain't gonna cut it. No, no winner. No, no winner. I got a story of my life. You wanna come up here? I think someone found your missing teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Holy sh Like I said, it's bright yellow, man. Yeah, it's a hot bike, man. I'm coming to the pawn shop today to pawn my motorcycle because my business is in the auto industry, and the auto industry is doing really poorly. So I got to ask, man, why would you pawn a bike like this? I got to make payroll. I got employees that count on me, you know? Pawning is basically the simplest form of credit. You give us an item that we take as collateral, and then we'll give you cash. You pay us back our money with interest, and you get your item back. Simple as that. So what are you looking to get out of it? I need to get 20 grand to make payroll. 20 grand, that's gonna be rough on it though, man. I'll be back to get it. I'll, I'll get the money. It's a nice bike, man, but we're looking around eight. <sighs> eight thousand? Dude, I can't, that ain't gonna cut it. Uh, I'll tell you what, man, I'll meet you in the middle at 15 if it helps you out. How long do I have till I can get it back out? You can get it back out tomorrow if you want. But I mean, you got 120 days. No, but I mean days. like I had 120 days? Yeah. All right. And what happens after 120 days if I don't come get it? You'll see me riding this bike down the street, man. All right, I'll do the deal. I got to make payroll. All right, let's go back inside and ride it up. So what do we got here? An early 30s antique slot machine. So if I buy it, do I get all the nickels in it? <laughs> no, no. I know at one point this used to uh, dispense mints. That's what they called it, the mint dispenser. When you'd hit a jackpot, the mints would come down here from, and drop out. Yeah, they did try and change a lot of the uh, gaming machines around so that it would win a little prize or something like that, and the coins went and went out, but the bartender would say, okay, you won, and pay you in cash. All right, give it a pull, Pop, see if it works. No, no winner. No, no winner. I got a story of my life. <laughs> <laughs> what are you looking to do with this, son? I'd like to sell it. Now, what do you consider a fair price? 3,000. Restored, they're worth like 2,500. Yeah. And this shape right here, it's worth right around 1,200, which means I could give you like 800 for it. What if I were to pawn it? What? I mean, if you want to pawn it, you just want to get a loan against it. I'll loan you $500 and you can pick it up later. Yeah, I'll do that. All right, deal. How you doing? All right. What you got here? I'm looking to pawn my collection of shark teeth. Collection of shark teeth, huh? Hey, Rick. You want to come up here? I think someone found your missing teeth. <laughs> so where'd you get these? Well, when I was 12 years old, I was on a family vacation. My mom picked this up for me. And ever since then, I've been collecting them. All right. Um, damn, this is a big one. That's kind of the pride of the fleet right there. <laughs> these were from Megalodon, which was a prehistoric shark. And from the size of this tooth, the guy was probably bigger than a city bus. Yeah, that, <laughs> that was a big shark. And you want to pawn them? Yeah, I'd rather pawn them than sell. So it means too much to me to sell them. Uh, how much do you need to borrow? I wanted to try and borrow about $1,000. These are really cool. The bigger they are, the more expensive they are. Okay. Yeah, I have three million year old rocks in my backyard that I can't sell, but these I can't. <laughs> right I can do a thousand bucks on them. No so. problem. Okay. All right, write them right. up, Jim. Earlier this week, I got a call from a guy who said he needed to pawn his truck. He said it was a very expensive truck. We really didn't go into it. So I told him, meet me over at Wally's and I'll see what I can do. Holy sh This is probably the top of the line, one of the top of the line Volvo trucks. It's a 780. It comes with the Cummings 500 horsepower motor. You get air ride on both back axles. This one comes with air ride on your front axle as well. It's got the extended cab. This is probably about the most expensive truck I've ever owned. So why do you want to get rid of it? I, I not, don't want to get rid of it. I just want to get a loan on it. Got some family business I need to take care of and uh, uh, Get back, handle that. Things do happen. This is my collateral I got here. Uh, how much do you need to borrow? I got the truck for like maybe 125000 I'm not looking for that. I'm looking for maybe $20,000. i will take care of what I need and okay. hopefully come back, pick her up, and keep on trucking. Okay. <laughs> so uh, while he's going to check it out, make sure there's no problems, and uh, if there isn't, we should have a deal. Sounds like a deal. OK. All, all right. right, thanks, man. All right. Went through and did all the service on it and checked it out. Everything looks really good. Thanks so much, Wally. Thank I really you. appreciate it. All right, we'll get you out of here now. OK. All I gotta do now is drive the truck back to the shop and give the guys 20 grand. Breaker Breaker 1-9, Big Hoss, Chun-Li, Big Daddy's coming home. <laughs>